Have you ever been puzzled by something in your code that just doesn't seem to make sense? If you've been working with parcelable and flags, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into the world of parcelable flags and why they matter. I totally get it. Many developers, including myself, have written parcelable implementations without giving much thought to the flags. It can be confusing, especially when you encounter a situation where those flags suddenly seem important. Let's look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, should I pass the flags to both the key and the value when writing to a parcel, or should I use zero for the key and the flags for the value? This is a great question and one that many developers face. To understand this, we need to break down what parcelable flags are. Flags are essentially indicators that tell the system how to handle the parcelable object being written. They can affect how resources are managed during the writing process. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use flags effectively in your parcelable implementations. To understand the use of flags in parcelable, the user should first know that flags are optional parameters that can modify how the parcelable is written to a parcel. In the context of the user's implementation, when writing a key-value pair to a parcel, both the key and the value can use the same flags. This is often the recommended approach. The user might wonder about the specific flag values. For most cases, passing zero is sufficient unless the object being written is a return value from a function. If the user decides to use the parcelable write return value flag, it should be applied to the value when it represents a return value. The key can still use zero. In summary, the user should generally pass the same flags for both key and value unless specific conditions apply. This ensures that the parcelable is handled correctly. Fun fact, did you know that the parcelable interface was introduced in API Level 1? That's right, it's been around since the very beginning of Android development. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that when using flags in parcelable, you should typically use flag zero. Since your method does not return a parcelable or take one as a parameter, the appropriate flag to use is zero. Here's a pro tip. Always check the documentation for the specific flags available for your parcelable objects. Understanding these can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to use flags in your parcelable implementations. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on Android development.